Okay, this is our homemade iodine clock reaction and it's really quite simple to do. Um, we're going to be using one mil of a povidone iodine solution, that's a commercial antiseptic like this one you might get here. Um, 10 mils of vitamin C, we're going to make our vitamin C from a uh, soluble tablet, you know the kind, they come in tubes like this and we pop that in and we need to wait for that to dissolve. So let's leave that dissolving there um, and here's one I made earlier. You can see it's, uh, it's orange. Um, what's the next thing we need? Oh, we need some starch solution. To make our starch solution we need to take some very hot water from the kettle here, uh, about 250 mils, a glass full as they say, um, and into that we need to put some kind of starch. Uh, the starch I've got here is some corn flour. Um, let's put some corn flour into our hot water. Um, it won't all dissolve, but there you are, the spatula measure, in it goes. Um, and we need to give that a stir and just break up the globules at the bottom as best we can. That'll leave it to cool down and we'll find it clears as it settles. We just, to use our starch solution, it's just to uh, emphasize the color of the iodine that's formed in the reaction with that lovely blue-black color that you get with uh, starch. It's an indicator for iodine. Um, we just need a sufficient amount to dissolve. So a spatula measure in 250 mils of water there and we'll decant off uh, what we need when it's cooled down. Um, as before, here's one I did earlier, and as you can see, it's gone quite clear uh, here, um, once, but we've still got starch solution in there, so that's quite good. Um, what do we need next? Oh, well, we're more or less ready to go. We just need some uh, commercial hydrogen peroxide solution. This one's 6%, uh, and that will be the oxidizing agent. The vitamin C is the reducing agent, and it all involves iodine to iodide which is supplied by the povidone and iodine. So, let's have a go at this reaction. Get these things to one side. Um, here we are. Um, let's put it in a boiling tube here. Uh, what do we need? One mil of our povidone iodine solution. Good, let's go for that. Um, so, here we go. Use the approximate graduations on my plastic pipette here. There we are. One mil of that. Try not to spill any. It's uh, rather staining. Uh, and into that we put 10 mils of uh, our vitamin C solution. Right, 10 mils of vitamin C. Uh, we're using this one. Oh, let's use the one that we've just made. It's ready. Um, here we go. 10 mils of that. There you go. In the measuring cylinder, 10 mils of the vitamin C. And what happens is the iodine solution should go clear as it's uh, reduced to iodine. Iodide. I know you can see, the colour almost always gone. I've added about half my vitamin C. Let's just get that bit off the side because it looks a bit messy. Right, come on, come on, come on. That's it, right. If I run this down the side, we should be able to get rid of the rest. Yes, right. There we are then. Okay, so that's my povidone iodine plus my 10 mils of vitamin C. We just need some starch indicator in there now. Um, about a mil or two mils of that. So two mils on the graduated pipette here, in that goes, and it's squirted in to give it a mix. And the reaction starts when we add the uh, 10 mils of, uh, 5 mils rather, of 6% hydrogen peroxide. So let's uh, get my 5 mils of 6% hydrogen peroxide, here we are, um, 5 mils of it. There we are, done. And uh, as I say, when, once we add the hydrogen peroxide to the uh, mixture here, that's when the reaction starts and we'll stop, stop what show. Here we go, add it, give it a swirl, start the stopwatch. So as that one's going there, and you, you need to be able to see it, um, we could set up another one, uh, but we could test say, let's use half the amount of uh, vitamin C, see what effect that has. So here we, here we go again, here's our one mil of iodine. Uh, we're going to half the amount of vitamin C this time, so we're going to add five mils of it, see what effect that has. Um, there we go, give it a swirl. Um, two mils of starch, 
Same as before. One, two. Good. In it goes. And five mils of hydrogen peroxide. In that goes. And that's the second one. So you see what happens if you add half the amount of uh, vitamin C. Here are our two reactions. Oh, look at that. So you can see if you add half the amount of uh, vitamin C, reaction time is about halved.